Supplies you will need for this modelling effect are odourless thinners, Genesis heat set paint red and ultramarine blue, half inch maxi mop brush, makeup sponges, tweezers, paper towel and a mixing tray. Start by adding odourless thinners to your mixing tray and using your half inch maxi mop brush apply a generous amount of red Genesis heat set paint onto the tip of your brush and mix into your odourless thinners. Using the same half inch Maxi mop brush, gather a small amount of ultramarine blue onto the tip of your brush and add to your mix. The colour you're wanting to achieve is a blood red colour and by adding in the blue will help to give you that deep rich blood colour. You're wanting your mix to be a thin watery consistency. This will avoid the colour overstaining your vinyl and be hard to correct. And as this method is repeated, it is best to have your mix nice and thin. Once you're happy with the consistency of your mix, you will need to tweezer out small holes in one of your sponges. This is done with a set of normal tweezers by just plucking out bits of sponge at random. The more random your holes are, the better the overall effect will be. You also want to make sure you don't have any sharp or straight edges, so try to tweezer these out. Apply a generous amount of your mix onto your tweezered makeup sponge. You can test the pattern out first by pressing onto some paper towel. This way, if you don't like the mottling effect, you can alter it before applying it onto your doll permanently. Randomly pounce your tweezered sponge over your limb. Rotating the sponge will help to randomise the mottling effect. You will want to avoid applying paint to the palms as you will do this stage during blushing. Don't be afraid to go over what you have already applied but don't over model otherwise the paint will blend and it will alter the overall modelling effect.
Now we simply apply the same technique to the legs. Remix your paint and reapply it to your tweezered sponge. Then dab off your sponge onto paper towel to see if your tweezered holes look natural. Once you're happy with the mottling effect, randomly pounce your tweezered sponge over your legs, but you will want to avoid the soles. Rotating the sponge will also help to randomise the mottling effect. Don't be afraid to gently go over the mottling you have already applied, but don't over model otherwise the paint will blend and will alter the overall mottling effect. Remix your paint and apply more paint mix to your sponge. Remember to keep your paint mix very thin to avoid the paint overstaining your vinyl. When applying your mottling to the head, start with the first few pounces at the back of the head. This way if your paint mix is too thick, it won't affect the overall effect because it will be hidden by the hair. Using the same technique as you did the limbs, pounce your sponge softly all over the head, including the back, as this will give a nice effect under the hair. Try not to over mottle your doll's face as this will make your baby look red and blotchy. When mottling a sleeping baby, you will want to apply mottling to the eyelids. This will give your baby a realistic eyelid skin effect. You may find you need to reapply the paint mix to your sponge. You can do this with the remaining paint on your half inch maxi mop brush. Don't be afraid to gently go over the mottling you have already applied, but don't over model otherwise the paint will blend and will alter the overall mottling effect. Apply your mottling to the back of the head as the effect under the hair will look more realistic. You have now completed your tweezers sponge mottling technique on your reborn baby doll. You will need to heat set the paint permanently by baking the doll kit in a convectional home oven at 130 degrees celsius for around 9 minutes. Wait until thinners have completely dried before baking and place all doll parts onto a cookie tray that is lined with a white no pattern hand towel. Adding in the blue helps to give it that deep rich colour. 